Howdy folks, it is Scanner here. In this video, we're going to give the Arch Arbor puzzle a shot. So when you spawn into the Daviri experience, you need to do it here. You can't do it in the circuit. You can't do it in the Lone Story. When you spawn in at this waypoint, just run up to this terminal here. A holographic statue spawns in and you need to solve a pretty simple puzzle here. You can mess this up pretty hard, like you've got a lot of time. Once that's done, you need to go to this statue and point it towards the main arch arbor in the center. So hop on a horse and move over to the next part. There's three of these that we need to do. It's the same process each time. Solve a pretty simple puzzle and then go to the statue which is over here and point it towards the center just interact with it to push it around each time and now that should be pointing up yep and over to the last one which is just over on this side And the final statue. Go on, move along. No lollygagging around here. It should start to glow, yeah. Now we need to go back to the beginning. And we can go down underground behind the first console. If we come down here, there's another little console. We can activate, it turns around and as it does, you can see over the far side it's opening up. So we hop on our horse. My toe is itching. We get hung up on stuff. And we can go down here. Now this is the main puzzle room. There's lots of these that we need to solve. And you can either do it like a super awkward way or you can just gather up all of these and fill them up which is really the way to do it. Okay, there's one in there. I can't remember what's where. Up there. One there. expert aim to miss that twice I think there's a gap in here and we need one for there which is here so you can just throw that in there now each of these has a disc and we have this puzzle that we need to solve here. We can see four of the chevrons. We cannot see all of the middle four. So the easiest thing to do first is to match up the four. All right, that matches the top one. So we're gonna leave it for now. This is gonna do a beamy attack at us. Because you can tell by the colors. Nope. All right, that matches the third one. We're going to leave it for now. Is that? That actually looks like it matches the very 
first blank one. So we're gonna leave it. Got dinged there by the lasers. Doesn't seem to match anything. Nope. All right, that one's going to be actually a bit of a pain in the butt, so we're going to move on. It's the weird looking D one. That also seems to match. Oh no, it doesn't. My bad. That looks like that one there. So we're gonna leave it for now. This guy. That looks like that one there. We're gonna get this guy flowing. No, I'm looking for an N on this, to be honest. Not that N. All right, that matches the bottom one, which is good. And this guy would love an N. Just a normal looking N. There we go. All righty. So that matches that. That matches the end. That guy matches the top. That guy matches there. That guy, it feels like, matches up with here. This is the odd guy out. Oh, there we go. It was the only wrong one. So it matched up. And there's all our loot. We got 10 Enigma Gyre. Now, you don't normally get 10. I have a booster on. So I got 10. But yeah, there you go. There's no set way to solve it, right? Because when you come in, once you get to this room, those puzzle, those pieces are random but gathering up all those things and putting them in the in the the disc areas that's obviously all the same each time you're just gonna have to struggle through and match up your icons that is just the way the puzzle has been designed to work but it's definitely worth doing especially if you have a booster on just coming in and like spamming it farming it because you get plenty of rewards for doing it so that's it for this video hopefully you found it somewhat helpful if you did you may consider giving a like and a subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching